Welcome back, sports fans. Mike Kretz here filling in for Derwin Worrell. And, oh, boy, do I have a treat for you. I had the chance to sit down with CMU's latest and for her program's first national champion. Maybe it's us as a society or a people, but we tend to remember our first, whether it's a personal first or one for the history books. Enter Colorado Mesa's Marissa Gallegos. You'll be at CMU's first ever women's wrestling national champion. To me, it just means, like, it means a lot, but I know that I'm not the, I'm not the last either. I know there's going to be girls next year that can win it and will win it. And I think the next year after that, I think I just started, um, basically like the butterfly effect I do it now everyone else knows that that's within reach and they're gonna do it. It, it they got to see it come to life it means a lot just four words focused on herself the rest guided at her teammates but setting the tone laying the foundation is a sentiment shared with the man who built the program from the ground up this was the first one not just for Marissa not just for Colorado Mesa but for me as well so um, it was definitely special right I think there was something that you know, I'll be able to look back on in my coaching career. My daughters will be able to look back and be like, oh, that was Marissa. That was the first one. No doubt a process, a long process. It seems almost silly to say out loud, but the amount of work that goes into being the nation's number one collegiate wrestler at the top of the podium in March, it starts with setting goals. The goal was to win the national title, but it was also the focus was to focus on having fun and to make memories of my teammates and really just be present with every moment and not think too far ahead of I got to win a national title I got to win a national title it's I'm going to be right here in this practice I'm going to work on exactly what I need to work on or we're in the bus as a team I'm going to focus on hanging out with my teammates or doing what I need to feel good yeah yeah and it turned out to be a good focus too how about an undefeated season and a one seat heading to college wrestling's biggest stage a thousand miles away in Cedar Rapids Iowa when we had our first practice when we got there we practiced in the arena and you know I was just reflecting and realizing how far women's wrestling has come this is the first time they held our national tournament in an actual arena and I was just like this is this is real it, it feels real and this is exciting. I get to go out here and compete in an arena, people in the stands, high rise stage for the finals. And for me, that, that, that's what it should be about. And it is. You can't do a story about women's wrestling without talking about how much the sport is growing. Back in 2010, USA Wrestling's female membership was at 3,800. A little more than a decade later, that number is 25,000 and growing. When Marissa, a Denver native, was in high school, Chassa hadn't even sanctioned girls wrestling. My junior and senior year, we had our own state tournament, but it was, again, in a high school gym. It wasn't in an arena. Where it is now at Ball Arena. For someone like Coach Mercado, whose job is to build off the success of Mesa's program, the extra wrestlers and extra eyes, well, they cut both ways. Getting to go out to just Central High School and watch this huge girls wrestling tournament, what, what, how has that translated in the recruiting process for you with the growth of this sport? Does it become easier? Does it become harder? What does it look like? Um, I think it's easier and harder because now you're finding girls that are local talents that maybe are younger and can definitely grow and maybe haven't had the exposure that, say, Marissa did growing up. That makes that a little bit harder. But at the same time, it's it makes it fun for me because now – I have some great wrestling right here in our own, or literally in our own backyard with District 51, um, Olathe's team, right? You can even start going down the road, Northfolk. Um, we have very talented young ladies here in the state of Colorado, and that makes it exciting for me because I know that we're going to have some in-state talent that we can keep here in the state. And hopefully Coach Quipped out of the hands of our MAC rivals, Adam State, who will field the team next fall. Again, for an idea of how popular the sport is, just about a year after they discontinued its women's lacrosse program, Program. But it's a little worry for Marissa, especially when she had an official raising her hand this past weekend in her last match as a Mesa Maverick. That feeling when you get your hand raised, take, take me, take me onto the mat, take me inside your head, maybe inside your heart. What, what, are you, what are you feeling when you get that hand raised? Well, the hand raised in that match meant a lot, a lot more than a lot of matches I've wrestled. Um, that one, I had been trying for this for I guess four years, and you know, freshman year I took third. Um, sophomore year I took second with a broken hand and then this past year I had a just a setback and lost early on and took third when I got my hand raised in that moment I just realized like uh, for me personally it wasn't about my timing and my plan it was more about God's plan and you know he he wanted me to win when it really mattered just knowing that how much time and effort and energy and you know 
just coming up short a couple times, right? It makes it makes that all much sweeter. Um, Exent excited for the snowball effect. The snowball for not just the program. Marissa too. She still has aspirations to make the U.S. national team. Wrestling at a high level has not passed her by. As for those young wrestlers who would certainly by now want to be like Marissa Gallegos, ask for some parting advice. Love what you do. Have fun with what you're doing. Don't cut a lot of weight. <laughs> And then also just um, focus on learning, not winning and losing, learning. And also consistency, just show up every day, even when you don't feel like it, even when you're tired, and really just keep going. Yeah, how about it? Big time congrats to her. And hey, that wasn't the only advice she had. I had to boil those interviews down quite a bit. Uh, many thanks to her and Coach for spending a good hour with me today. If you want to catch her full sit-down interview along with Coach Mercado, uh, definitely check out westernslopenow.com. Hey, we got a big sports day tomorrow. Bill Fanning Classic getting underway. Oh, and the defending national champs in beach volleyball. Mesa hosting tomorrow, too. Should be a fun day. Hope you join me. In the meantime, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Mike Kretz. We'll see you then.